Hey guys, and welcome back to <clears throat> Resident Evil. Let's continue. Uh, if I remember correctly, we were drowning as Jill. Previously on Resident Evil Revelations. What took you two so? Do we really need to watch this again? Yeah. Probably. What's up with Belcher? Straight into the depths of hell. It's a security token. Means we can scavenge the data on that radar. <sighs> what the? What happened? Boss, have you heard from Jill and Parker yet? Their investigation let them out to sea. Yeah, but we lost track of the ship. This is Jackass. I got the coordinates on the ship. I'm sending them now. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, yes, yes. We're on the ship. Chris and Jessica on the wrong ship. Yes, we know. Get over it. <clears throat> well, this is going bad. I hope you've got your uh, water wings there, guys. Actually, that would probably be detrimental to our um, existence. Oh, right. Yeah, we need to be careful here. Because we have, like, enemies. How do we dive? I know there's a way of diving somehow. You know what? Fuck this. I'm getting really tired of the mouse and keyboard. Let's just... There we go. Let's just use the controller. Oh, hi. Hello. Now, these guys don't actually hurt you, from what I can remember. Not when you're underwater. They just... Get off me, you absolute pain in the jimmies. There we go. Yeah, they don't actually hurt you. They just cause you to drown a little bit. So, not actually that bad. Right, come on, Parker, let's go. Yeah, no idea what the um, submerge button is on the keyboard. The controls, I, I think when they were coming up for the controls for this game, um, it was down to a person who's never used a PC before to actually design them. But hey, what do I know? Now, we found ourselves a pipe. Another pipe! There we go. Let's mash our A button. Because we like to give our A button a good old mash. Ah, Jill, yeah, mashed your A button a little bit too hard there. Uh, we could use some oxygen as well. Yeah, the, the amount of air that you, you actually have in this game, um, the way you hold your breath, is kind of strange. Um, can we... Right, there is a way of throwing those grenades. Um, and you can kill the enemies with them. Yeah, the way um, air works in this game is a bit weird. Like, it kind of feels like you have loads of air until the second that you don't. And you know how much air you have by the color of the screen. Once it starts fading black and white, you're running out of air. But that happens rather rapidly. Uh, I think it takes two. I think there's like three poles to find, or three pipes to find. But it only takes two. There we go. Yeah, mouse and keyboard in this game is utter dog shit. It really is. Yeah, a little bit close for comfort. Unfortunately, we've now got to aim with an analog stick, which makes me sad, but hey. It's fine. I'm sure we'll make it somehow. And who left all this ammo here? I have no idea. Right. You know what? Controller works. It's fine. It's, it's fine. Any excuse to use my Elite controller, I suppose. Right, out the way, Parker. Out the way. Now we can it's get some up. ooh the items. Yeah. Yeah, something about power and bulkheads. Got ya. I mean I don't got ya, but 
whatever. Right, okay. Um, we can't go through here, because that's apparently locked. But is it still locked? It is still locked. Sad times. And one thing I love about the Elite Controller is you can actually change the resistance on the analog sticks. So, these are actually, like, really stiff. And it takes a decent amount of force. And it does kind of go a little way of making the sticks more precise. Um, and it just feels better as well. <clears throat> it's kind of like a small thing, but makes a surprising difference. Also have the paddles that you can attach to the back of the controller. Which I've, I haven't really experimented with, to be honest. But maybe I will for this game. Maybe I will. I'm pretty sure. Yep, there's bad nicks here. Get the hell out of here. Not gonna... Oh, hi. Um, okay. Gonna have to relearn how to dodge, apparently. Oh, okay. Maybe not. We might be dead. We are dead, I think? Yeah, we're dead. <laughs> okay. Not really sure, uh... <laughs> how uh, I suppose you just got to push forward in the right direction but obviously like pushing see the thing is right using an analog stick to push forwards there's a degree of error and spin up and wind up and blah 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 whereas when trying to dodge with WASD it's a digital response it's all or nothing so there's way more control with it way more consistent and we've gone the wrong way again you know what? I'll take my chances. I'll take my chances. I just... You know, I don't like the way this game controls at all. I really don't. Right, okay. Let's go. Let's just go. Gun it, gun it, gun it, gun it, gun it, gun it. That's fine. Yeah, you just stay through there, Parker. You're, you're doing great. Doing a fantastic job. Uh, I would like to get that, but we can't get that yet. Hey, fella. Oh, Jesus. He hit me from what seemed like a mile away. Was he really that close? I, mean, I guess he must have been. Son of a... Just backhanded me there like a bitch. Oh, hey, fella. I guess you're just going to sprinkle these guys all over the place, huh? That's fine. Uh, I suppose we should be scanning these guys for a rather paltry 1%. Any more? There's always more. Of course there's more. Ah, that was bad. Sit down. You might want to switch up to a different gun, actually. We are kind of somewhat rapidly depleting our ammo. It's not bad, but... Yeah, I'm sorry. No matter how good a controller is, it's not beating the position of a mouse. No way. Like, they really... You, you cannot compare the two things. If that makes me sound like an elitist, then so be it. The power's back. We can use it. All right. That should hold us for now. For now. I'll check the control system. Oh yeah, we got some fun and games in there. The antenna array is out. It's on the observation deck. Maybe we can fix it. Maybe. I'm sure the view is nice. Me too. Let's move. <clears throat> yeah, maybe we can fix it. The observation deck. You can climb up there from the hall. So this area hasn't exactly been super flooded just yet. Okay. Not 100% sure then how we get that 
apart, but whatever, I guess. It doesn't really matter too much. Uh, damage plus four, damage plus four, damage plus four. See, might be worth putting this bad boy back. Uh, do we want the handgun? I mean, honestly, no, but... This monster just eats our ammo so fast. We could take the government back out, I suppose. I mean, yeah, fine. I guess we'll have it. It's okay, the bulkhead's closed. We just have to wait. Yeah, I think we're good. Optimistically, we're good. We might be good. Probably good. Oh, hey. Hi. How's it going? Any goodies? No? Got all the goodies. Right, so we're going to go back up and fight that big, ugly motherfucker. You know the one I mean. The one that looks like a bundle of rocks. No. We're on the Queen Samiramis. learned there were two ships during his investigation. You must be on the Queen Zenobia's sister ship. Jill and Parker are probably being held on that ship. Have you been able to locate it? No, but I've got my top people on it. How much time has passed, right? Correct. It's possible that up until a few hours ago, the ships were traveling together. Search the area and see what you can find. Roger that. I've noticed another thing with the character models here. Everyone has freakishly large hands, at least in the cutscenes. Jill's hands don't look too bad. Parker, stop moving for science. Yeah, Parker's hands are nearly the same size as his head. Cartoonishly large hands. Well, you know, whatever, I suppose. Now, let's get out of here. Now, are we going back this way? I actually can't remember. Or do we go back... Oh no, we're obviously going back this way. Because we're going upstairs. What are you looking for? No, okay, I guess we're not. Yeah, alright, no need to be a dick. I'm looking for things and stuff. You know how I like things and stuff, Parker? I am not just the master of unlocking. I am the queen of things and stuff. And you do well to remember that. Oh, hi. Hello. Hopefully, we can just... Oh, God. Yep, just about brought him down. But things are going to get worse before they get better. Oh, hi. Hello. Let's dance, you ugly sons of bitches. Oh, God, hit me in the nutsack there. I mean, I don't know if Jill necessarily has a nutsack, but I, who knows? I'm shooting this thing in the face, and it doesn't seem overly perplexed by his situation. Can I scan you, please? Yep, getting fucked over by the keyboard controls here. Ah, God damn. There we go. Yeah, that was, like, horrendous trying to... Here we go. Come get me. Yeah, oh, God's sakes, really? You assholes, too? Well, let's just try and run past these things. Really don't want to fight those things. You know, those little piranha bastards. Um, they're really nasty. Surprisingly nasty. We haven't seen hide nor hair from them since that video. I don't like it. Mm. Yeah. At least I hope they've picked up Chris's whereabouts. 
Oh, ammo. Wonderful ammo. How I love me some ammo. Did we read this? I can't remember. Uh, dearest friend, I'm at my wit's end. I'm sorry, but I must go. Is my phone ringing? Might be ringing. Uh, I'm sorry, but I must go on ahead. They are sleeping. But we'll wake up eventually. Now's my chance. Just thinking about them makes my hair stand on end. Their ugly bodies are not of this world. The stench like rotting organs and their screams like echoes from hell itself. I'm so frightened that I can't stop shaking, even now as I write this. Be careful, the bloated blisters on the walls are their eggs. They can regenerate from them. Ooh. Please don't think that I've abandoned you. I did it for my family. I'll pray for your safety. That's a pretty cool uh, log, to be honest. That's pretty good. Uh, stuff. More stuff. Yeah, so nice to know that Reva also had the same problem as me. Um, it's annoying sometimes when you scan an item and you find that it's not even in the same room. I'm guessing that's going to be in the room outside as well. Right, what custom part do we get? Critical one? Yeah, sure, I guess. Right. Oh, what's down? Magnum ammo. One magnum shot. In a very safe, snug, warm place. Oh, hi. Two of you. Oh, this... I'm sorry, Jill, but... This is gonna get a lot worse before it gets better. Ooh. Hideous way to go. Absolutely hideous way to go. Woof. She turned us into a, a Jill Twizzler. I suppose that only makes sense if you know about turkey Twizzlers, but... Really? Really? You're gonna put me back here? Game, you son of a bitch. Well, at least we know what we've got coming. Um, yeah. Might be worth just running through these guys, to be honest. But we can't... I don't think we can run past those. That's the thing. Right, run. Oh, no, he's not. There he is. He's dead now. Out of my way, you sons of bitches. <laughs> yes. Yes. Who knows? We haven't seen hide nor hair from them since that video. Yeah, I don't like it. That was <laughs> sketch. At the very least, I hope they've picked up Chris's whereabouts. Okay, so to deal with these guys, uh, there's some stuff there, isn't there? Custom parts. And there was a herb hidden. Here somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, we read that. We read this. We know. Alright, everything loaded up. Loaded up as it can be, I guess. Alright. Come to Papa. Anymore. Come on, you big, ugly, fucking mutant bastard. Not quick enough to scan it, sadly. Are we good? I think we're good. I think we're good. Alright, cool. Whew. I got a bit uh got a bit sketch there, didn't it? Not as sketch as it could be, but sketch enough. D did you hear that? I did. Oh, we're in for some fun and games here, Jill. We are in for some fun and games. This bit is Deliciously creepy. It's moving. Good. Now we can get to the observation deck. 
This bit is absolutely fantastic. Oh, hello. Something's up there. Oh, look at that. The way it just looks at you. Oh, it's good. It's so good. I'm guessing that's its ear, Parker. I'm trying to kill it. Take what? He says as he's just standing there. Right, we're going to burn through a hell of a lot of shotgun shells here, but that's okay. I love this thing. I actually really like this enemy. You know, some of the boss monsters in this game are fantastic. I don't know what that thing is that it's waving at us. I'm guessing that's its, I don't know, ear or... Oh no, that's got to be its actual face. Reload. More shells. Oh, hey. Yeah, nice try. Uh-oh. This is bad. More shells in there, please. Oh, that's hard to hit. Whew. We, uh... Are we in the clear? We don't have much. Well, are we in the clear? Now, that's a bit of a loaded question, isn't it? No, Jill. We're very much, very much not in the clear. So there's nothing to see. Well, I mean, looking at the nice views are kind of the least of our priorities right now. And this is going to hurt, alright? This is going to really be rather uncomfortable. Oh, okay. Hello. Yes, it is. Apparently... Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on, big boy. Ah, that was my face. That was my beautiful face. Oof. Right. What the hell is this? Oof. So the timing. I don't know how it's alive. That's not really our concern. How it's alive, to be honest, Parker. That is literally the least of our concerns. Our only concern right now is killing it. You understand, Parker? Killing it. Oh, God. That should have stunned it. Guess not on this difficulty, huh? Right, come on, you big bastard. Let's go. Now, its actual weak spot. Oh, God. Its actual weak spot is its eye thing up there. Right, come on. Oh, 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 Parker's got it. Parker's got it. Not bad, Parker. Not bad. It is tough. You're absolutely right. Ah, oh, you bastard. It just takes too long to charge this gun up. Oh, come on. Come on, man. I can't even see where this thing is. There we go. Yeah, we're not going to bother trying to charge up our gun. Not worth it. Come on, Parker. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. Yeah, that window of dodging it is very slim. Very slim indeed. Yeah. <laughs> like, by the time it starts charging you, you you've got to be pushing that button. Yeah. Okay, good enough. Oh, he's getting quicker. Yep, he's getting quicker. He's getting quicker. In fact, by the time he kind of puts you down... Oof. By the time he puts you down, you, you've you got to be moving. What a 
pain in the ass piece of shit. <sighs> yeah. That thing is really fucked. I actually like that boss quite a bit. Nice. <laughs> I needed that. Really needed that. Just gonna keep scanning it as often as it's gonna let me. There we go. Oh man, that hurt. Oh Jesus. There's another like pouch over here, I think. Is there? No. I thought there was another pouch. There's another pouch somewhere around here. The antenna is up above. Yes, thanks, Jill. Thank you. That's you here all day, are you? Excellent. Oh. Okay. Any other goodies? Of course there is. There's going to be loads of goodies. There's definitely more goodies on this difficulty. Absolutely. Which makes sense. And I do mean like significantly more goodies. Which is kind of required really. Because um, on normal, like, there's a few things dotted here and there. But they're not, like, everywhere like this mode. Like, each room has, like, thousands of items in it. But you ain't going to hear me complaining. No, sir. Right, what we like... Man, you really have to be thorough. Really have to be thorough. Okay, so what have we... Oh, God. Our weapons and ammo and stuff really ain't looking so good, is it? Even our rifle ammo is questionable right now. No, F, please, thank. Oh, boy. Is that everything? Really want to make sure... Oh, there's shotgun shells there. Definitely don't want... Ooh, 12 of the bad boys. Definitely don't want to leave those puppies behind. Oh, look. See what I mean? Just everywhere. Oh, another green herb. Yeah, that would have been tragic to leave that behind. Okay. Oh, look. Must have been under Parker's foot, that one. I bet this giant clanker of a turd is probably obscuring something. Okay. I actually came out of that pretty healthy when it comes to equipment. Um, right, legendary parts. What do we get? Critical 1. Critical 2. Uh, yeah. Nah, critical. I mean... What is the crit chance? Stopping power. I don't know how good that actually is. Critical hit. I, I mean, I'm not 100% sure, to be honest, what critical power actually does. Um, I mean, not critical. Um, stopping power. I guess... That gives, you know, that probably stops them from moving or something or puts them in. No, because that's stun though. So, what stopping power is, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. Puts enemies into a daze by 300%. That might actually be better, to be honest. Right, let's go. Yeah, I thought we were definitely going to die there at least once. I really did. Now, this Veltro key card that opens up um, three lockers that we can scan. Veltro Agent 1, not lockers, uh, safes. Uh, we are at last putting our final plan into action. Jack Norman, our leader and brother in arms, came up with this plan. When we first heard it, we had our doubts that it could even be pulled off. But now the time has come to enact his, uh, this extraordinary plan thanks to the still will of our comrades. My cat. Um, 
He supported our ideals with his power and influence. He has prepared these ships for our use. These luxury liners are symbols of the uh, degradation of humanity and will be a f will be fitting vessels for the distribution of the virus that will purge humanity. I have been assigned the task of boarding the Queen Zenobia for our mission. 2004. 12 hours until mission start. My body is trembling and I can't stop it. Could be excite the excitement or fear, or both. Strange biological organisms created by the virus are milling around the secret lab in the bilge. The virus can be dissolved in water, so anybody who drinks that water will turn into a monster. Oof. The hunter type BAW was infected off site and Oh, and will spread the virus on land. The uh desiccant eyesore that is the floating city city will soon turn into a veritable hell on earth we must bring hell to the people or the scale will not fall from their eyes this is how norman phrased it if that grizzled financier of ours believes in norman then we who serve him must do so as well who is the man behind the curtain who indeed Sure. Ah. More stuff. Oh. Good to take in the fresh air. We got a lot more than we bargained for on this ship. Yeah, just a bit. We've been fighting for our lives this whole time. I hope we can catch our breaths after checking in with HQ. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm sure. Nothing could possibly go wrong, Jill. Nothing at all. You're in good hands, Jill. Very good hands. Oh. Did you look at that? I'm going to heal myself because we're kind of at the end of this chapter. Or well, this segment, anyway. So we'll get a free heal. And my cat is meowing. He does that. I think most cats do that. Legendary parts. Very nice. Ah, and there's a handprint I haven't got. Nice. If you get the handprint, you will unlock a uh, gun or something. I'll check the antenna's wiring. <sighs> Can't remember which gun you get. Right. Let's check the wiring, shall we? Cat is going spammy. Sounds like he's in pain. But he's just stupid. So, it's okay. Right. Let's have a look. That good? Almost. There we go. I think that should do it. We'll give it a shot. I hope it works. Me too. This is Vermilion. Headquarters. Do you read? O'Brien here. Are you two all right? We did it. Boss, it's Parker. Shit hit the fan here. It hit really hard. I know. The whole thing was a setup, and we fell for it. How do you know? How do you know it's a setup? What is it, boss? Say something! Just stay put. I've got an emergency call. No, wait! Director O'Brien, we received an emergency call from the ESF. They've reported satellite movement. The European Security Force? Go on. Yes, sir. Apparently, Terra Grigia's solar energy integrator is being reactivated. Already in motion, are we? Hmm. O'Brien is letting on more than he knows. Or well, not letting Looks on. Like somebody's found a I should say. Novia. It's only been a year. Parker! 
HQ, what's going on? All hell's about to break loose. The solar energy matrix has activated. They're aiming at the Veltro hideouts on the Mediterranean, disguised as cruise ships. Satellites that destroyed Terra Grigia are right above us. They can't just ignore the ultimatum and obliterate the ship. Boss, get us out of here. <sighs> Sorry. But I can't authorize that. <laughs> This music is fantastic. Right, well, uh, two deaths. I guess we have to accept that. Accuracy was apparently quite good. Yeah, cow surprise. Right, anyway, guys, that's going to have to do it for this episode. Um, When we come back, well, we're going to see if we're turning into Stardust or not. But no, we won't, because before that, we have another little uh, escapade to deal with. Right. Anyway, guys, till then, thanks for watching.